what does a woman expect from a man? Mm. This ties in. Don't worry. Don't worry. You know I like the transitions, people. You have <laughs> By the way, I like how you do like a shoulder bop whenever you make a good point. That shoulders are bopping. Shoulders are bopping. Okay, let's go. We're going to play this one and we we're going to talk about it. This is this is amazing. Okay, for me, he has to give me the life that I want. He has to give you yes. the life that you want? Mm-hmm. Okay. And what is that life exactly? Spoil me, live in a mansion, buy me a Bugatti, take me wherever I want, <laughs> buy me whatever I want. Fantastic. And what give do you bring back to that man? <laughs> and what do you give back to that man? Me? Yes. This. All of this. <laughs> so you were able to delineate exactly what Shut you us. wanted, but you cannot delineate Shut what you bring. Us. Yeah, I bring myself to the table. Okay, okay. I mean, so let's, let's and, take a look. The reason so that this gotta... came up for me is because you were talking about boys' night out and like kind yeah. of these caricatures that we have of okay. women and of men. First you know of all, those, those are your show, friends. By the way? Yeah. Those are your friends, right? Fresh you're fresh and, and fit. fit. Yeah, we're cool. Okay, they're ridiculous. Really? They're ridiculous. Who's they, more ridiculous, are, them or that girl? Okay, well, <laughs> they are on a mission. I think it's pretty obvious to everybody. They're on yeah. a mission to make women look bad and to make women look like that. You want to have fresh and fit? You want to have a real ass woman come on and tell you what she wants from a man? Have me on. They're having all really? of these girls. I can set this these up very girls. easily. These are not women. Okay. These are girls. And what she's talking about is glorified prostitution. Yeah, no doubt. That's what she's talking about. So he has them on. They have them on. They're a team, I know. I don't know much about them, but I know they were on your podcast. They did yeah, a good job. I've been on their podcast. They've viral. been on Pat's podcast. Right. They're in Miami. I disagree with them 99% of the time. Okay. Respect what they're doing. They're doing a show. They're making their money. Yeah. But this is a character of a female. Women well, they're not putting this. words in her mouth. No. They said, what do you oh, want did, from a did, man? And what do you think they hunt out when they want to put a girl on the show? Someone who's going to say that? You think they're going to want me to come on and say when they say, oh, what do you want from a man? Me to say, oh, I want a really good sense of humor. I want somebody who's going to, you know, be able to talk to me and, mm-hmm. and communicate. They're not looking for that answer. They're looking for that answer. So they can say, oh, women are all about this. And guys, you need to, you know, know your value. And you come on. So give me, your, how do you feel about what she said right there? How do I feel about them or what she said? How do you feel about what she said right there? She says, she's basically saying, I'm the prize. Yeah. I'm the prize and you got to take care of me. You got to take care of me. I can't toss my hair today. You got to understand what they're doing. Like you're saying that they're there to diminish women or to... No, they're there to paint a character of women so that they can make their point, their talking point about men. I think what they're doing is they're they're there to wake men up. Now you might be like, what do you mean? So, because I've sat down on that table they've been on our chair they they don't wake up every day and say I, i'm telling you they don't like we gotta fuck these hoes bro we gotta fuck them up we gotta show we gotta we gotta expose them we gotta we gotta make them look stupid no they actually wake up and they say guys like they're like the world the deck is the deck is stacked against you is it and like- and well in relationship wise yeah i mean why we, we can get into why is it stacked against these these guys go for women like that if you're dating a woman like that you're getting what you deserve when a guy gets in a relationship yeah when who's taking half the shit when they leave the guy's not then taking half the shit it? why do the you woman's date that taking girl? half the shit you're dating that girl as opposed to dating someone who's made whatever same, idiot hey, wipes that up and doesn't sign a prenup that's, that's, that's on saying, them but that's on but men. the point is fresh and fit wake up and they try to basically encourage male excellence they say men do better they said there's a famous quote between in the manosphere the red pill community mm-hmm. rollo the manosphere yeah there's a whole thing out there i mean we <laughs> the get these guys on here they know shit. they say make money mm-hmm. make muscles have game and hold frame what does that mean like rather than pursuing women pursue excellence mm-hmm. chase That's what women excellence. should be doing by the way on both sides i don't know about all that we can That's talk what about women that should be doing you don't pursue. I don't, know, I don't know if women should be having the same goals as men. Well, so, pursue excellence is pretty general. Everyone agree, should pursue success and so, excellence and feeling good about them. When, men and women, excellence is, is different. But do you see what he's talking about? We can get to that in a second. He didn't say anything. What she he, said, who he goes, he, who he said. Who did he look on the show? Who did, if I wanted, that's like you saying Jen, to me. you're picking one girl out of literally oh, 10,000 that they've picked. I've seen a lot. How many women do they have like me on the show? I'm curious. They've had women like Michaela Peterson on. They've had like intelligent okay. women. Okay, they've that's had, a good example. They've had uh, Brody. She's been on the show. She's been on my show. They've had... Um, but the question is, how does that work out for those women? Well, how, how do you mean? How I mean, that? both from Fresh and Fit and from their audience. I like, how mean. do those women get treated by Fresh and Fit? I've and been there. The they don't disrespect... Like, here's the... Here, I don't see it as disrespect. No, because when, when you put a mic in front of somebody... Shit. 
whether it's this girl or how many other girls were looking on in disgust about what she was saying, by the way. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to play that clip back without audio. Yeah, it is fantastic. As, 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 as we're looking at it, that. the other girls were looking at her like, you dumb bitch. They were, were they not? Well, yeah, because they're, they're, they're basically disrespecting women. They're making it hard for women like me but because the women were looking at the women, women were looking at her in disgust. But do you understand? All that? they said was, "What are you bringing to you the table?" That? And she said, "Me." Do you understand that he? They want to talk about male excellence in order to to make their talking point. They're choosing to book someone who's trying to take advantage of men, who's trying to manipulate men, to expose what men to need to look well, out for. But that's not the norm of women out well, there. Well, and that's a norm in Miami. That's I don't know where you hang out, key. Adam, but that is not the norm. Most women are not. That's the like norm that. in LA. That's the norm in. No, it's not. It, no, what? it's not. And it's not the norm in New York either. What percentage? Who are you hanging out with? That's the norm this? among women. In New York is a little bit different because New York, you got to fucking. If you can make it there, you can make it anywhere. Thank you. So New York, like New York, I just came back from New York. I don't we'll ever touch on that. It, yeah. But New York, the women have to work because you can't just parade in a bikini all day. Why? Because it's cold as shit. Okay, you can't just be. Yeah. Like you can't do the naked cowboy thing in New York. In Miami, you could do that. You could People wear skimpy do clothes. <laughs> People but, do skimp in New York. In the winter, there's girls in mini skirts in lounges dancing on. And why are they doing clothes. that? But but do you understand? Because they want to stay warm, or because they want to look sexually attractive to men. But do you? There's something called the sexual marketplace, and we're all competing in it. Okay. I'm not. Well, you were. I wasn't. So you got wifed up. I what actually are you talking wasn't, though. About? But I wasn't. I was just being me. That's what you're hanging Stop out with it, the Jed. wrong chicks. Of course you're. You're hanging Jed, out with the wrong chicks. Every girl's competing. I wasn't. Do you wear high heels? Rarely. Do you wear makeup? Sometimes. Do you when do I got your hair? Do sure, you do your like hair? This. Do you see what I do? Do you work like out? Now? Yeah. The I point is, you want to look man. good. I have never, ever wanted to look good for a man, darling. Who do you want to look good for? For myself. Because when I. Stop it. That's okay, let me ask you a question. When you go to bed, you keep your makeup on or off? The only reason I have makeup on right now is because I'm sitting in front Okay, because you want to look good. For me. For me. I don't need to look good for me when I'm in the bed. Do you you want to look good in, on the camera? Listen, first of all, you know I'm married, right? So I'm not trying to impress <laughs> anybody. Okay, it, but in order to get your husband, you want to look no, good. No, I didn't play that game. I didn't play that game. What do you mean? You, it's hard for you to believe what? that that, what we saw, that woman right there is not in the majority, but it's not. And I don't women, think she's the most majority. Women, most women out there look at yeah. that and they're like, that's disgusting. That's disgusting. What percentage of women do you think have her philosophy? Very small. What percentage? I don't know. Across the country? Yeah, the United States. <laughs> Less than five. Oh, Jed. I don't know what? any women like that. I don't know any women. You realize that's glorified prostitution. Well, She's saying, what is she saying? She's saying, I'm going to dress up. I'm going to look nice. You're going to pay for my shit. Let's say it's more than 5%. Okay. Let's say it's 10%. I would say I it's about what it 20%. Is. And depending on the city. 20%. I would, it's like in New York. So you're familiar with the 80-20 rule, the Pareto yeah. principle, right? Yeah. So in New York, where rent's more expensive, you got to work your ass off. Things are tougher. You got to be a like a worker. I mean, you really have to. Yeah. Buckle down. It's like a hustle. I would say it's closer to 80% workers, 20% women who rely on their looks. Mm -hmm. There's other cities like in Miami. I don't know if it's as much as 80, 20, but I know it's more than 50, 50 right. where a large percentage, a large swath of women rely on their looks, whether that's looking good to have a man, whether that's only fans, whether that's stripping, whether that's modeling, whether that's bikinis, whether that's just like, dressing up to go find a boyfriend that is very prevalent here in South Florida for sure and I, just like it is in a lot of major cities LA for sure so that that's they're in Miami mm -hmm. now if they were doing that show in Boise Idaho I'd be like what the what the hell's going on in the water yeah. in Idaho but I, this is the reality for a lot of women out there and they're basically well, just the saying message, men understand how these women think and just yeah. be prepared how those women think I wouldn't How say all those women. women think. Correct. And that's who's showcased repeatedly. Every time I open a podcast, we have more examples here. And I see hosts like Fresh and Fit Style. I see these talking points from guys that sound like that, like what we described. And I see these bimbo-ish women all the time. They are purposely picking these bimbo-ish, you know, I want to take advantage of a man and it's fine because I'm cute. Like these well, are let me, let me ask you a question then. Um, if there weren't that this many women, why do they always have 10 bimbos on every night? Oh, it sure seems like there's a lot I'm of them sure running around. There. And I don't, listen, I don't know. And they're not like recurring characters, Some like recasting. Women, I don't know these they're women. They're out there. Some of these women. There's more women like that than there are women like you, especially no. in Miami. No. 
I'm telling you. Well, I don't know. I, Listen, I think Adam's right on In this. Miami? In Miami, in LA, maybe not New York. In these big cities, they've all been- New York all, isn't like that at all. I can tell you straight up. New York women will kick some ass. But they've all been they hit by the ass. influencer market. And they've all moved They all want to be Kim Kardashian. They all want to be But you know, do you see that we live in a world now? Okay, you're, first of all, like, I don't know. Listen, you may have your finger on the pulse of Miami. I'll give you that. Mm-hmm. Or Los Angeles. Um, although I think Los Angeles or has a lot of- Or I would also of, say, go, like, I go out to bars- lounges, nightclubs, not as much. I'm out. I used to work in bars, so I get it. I used to work in bars. I used to work in lounges. I was cocktail waitress for years. I get it. But we're living in the United States. We got a whole country here. And Mm -hmm. what I'm saying is people are watching podcasts all over the country. You got women watching this being like, who are these women? Mm -hmm. Who are these women? Put some women on I do know a lot of good girls in the Midwest. There you go. But they're not... All that's yeah. more 80 20 rule, but you had a hard time. What bothers me is you had a hard time believing because you're used to now, we're used to seeing these women. By right? the way, I would and never I deal know. with a girl like that. Like, and if I would tell if I'm fresh and fit, I 100% agree with them, expose this girl for who she is and advise men stay away from this from women like that. But there's going to be a guy out there who's like, she's hot and I've got money, well, and I'll deal with it. That's an and idiot. And that's on that idiot. That's exactly. An idiot. If you like the short clip, you can catch another one here or you can catch the full episode right here. 